All right, so this is a Jones matrices problem. Um, and after getting over the fact that um, the derivation of um, how do we get to these polarizer equations, um, 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 I'm, I'm just I'm just going to apply what we know what, what we what's been derived um, and define some interesting graphs. Um, so what we got is we've got um, so here we've got horizontally polarized light, and then I'll do vertically before, um, and it's put through a polarizer angled at an angle theta. Um, the matrix is very pretty easy to um, to to um, um, calculate um, and, and which which is that um, how um, and then to determine the uh, magnitude of the electric field um, we take the um, so, th so this would be the um, th this would be the x hat this would be the y hat square root um, the squares of those and I got that and then we get the magnitude of the electric field um, from 0 to 2 pi um, the so interestingly I mean I guess not interestingly but expectedly um, we've got um, at, at um, theta equals I mean, we know cosine of um, of zero of um, cosine of of 90 degrees is um, zero so expectedly at, at angle of 90 degrees which is um, a, which is pi over 2 um, And pi over 2 is just over 1.5, and there we go, we are at 0. And again, we're at 0 again at 3 pi over 2. So there, so there we go. Um, so that's what that's to be expected. Um, and um, now we would do the same process for a vertically polarized light. Um, we, we, we just find our zeros at different places, um, and that is at 0, because sine of 0 is 0. And... Um, um, and then we have um, 2 pi, which is, or excuse me, at pi and 2 pi. So 3.14 and at 6.2 something or other.